Now it's time to zoom into the microscopic world of the tiny creatures that inhabit our everyday lives. There's nothing like collapsing into a freshly made bed at the end of a long, hard day. Crisp sheets, plump pillows, a warm, clean place where you can escape the grime and the grind of day-to-day -day existence. Or can you? Just how clean is your bed? Well, you might be horrified at the things you can sleep with. Meet Harry and his chums. Harry's a dust mite, or Dermatophagoides terenicinus. Try saying that ten times quickly. He's an ugly sucker, but fortunately, you'll never come face to face with him. At just 0.2 to 0.3 of a millimetre long, it's virtually impossible to see him with the naked eye. And he'll certainly never see you because he hasn't got any eyes. In the average bed, there can be anything from 100,000 to 2 million dust mites. It's extraordinary. And a two-year-old pillow, the weight of it, 10% of it, could be dead mites and their excretions. Yeah. And you know what they live on? Dead skin cells. Yeah, if it wasn't for them, we'd probably be waving round in dead skin. Mm, they do a great job. Yeah, good housekeepers. Mm. Bye, Harry. Keep up the good work. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs>